Hey what's up guys, Chiggs here from Chiggs Tech Reviews. If you've already seen the trailer for Nintendo Switch, then you may be excited as I am. If you have not seen the official trailer, check out the link in the description. I bring you a video today for the 10 facts you should know about Nintendo Switch. So fact 1 is the dock. The Nintendo Switch dock is only for charging and TV output. The main function of Nintendo Switch dock is to provide an output to the TV as well as charging and providing power to the system. The dock is not the main console unit of the Nintendo Switch. The main console unit is the tablet LCD screen uh, which the two Joy-Con controllers can be attached to. Fact 2 is backwards compatibility. The Switch will not support Nintendo Wii U game discs or Nintendo 3DS game cartridges. Um, Nintendo says they might re-release some old games um, that you can purchase from the company's eShop but as standard there is no backwards compatibility. So for fact 3 the controllers are called the Joy-Con. So Nintendo has named the Joy-Con Joy-Con L and Joy-Con R to be specific as in left and right. In the video footage of the Nintendo Switch we can see the two controllers being used together when playing solo games but a Joy-Con controller can be shared with a friend for multiplayer gaming as, as they've shown in the video for the Mario Kart games. Fact number four are game card cartridges. The video shows us that the console is going to use cartridge games as its main media. Similar style to 3DS but of course 3DS games will not work. 3DS cartridges will not work in this console. I expect that you could also download games from the eShop. So fact number five is Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. So they are going to release a dedicated Nintendo Switch Pro Controller for this console. Um, I don't, we don't know at this stage whether you can use the old Wii and Wii U controllers or even the old Wii Pro Controller. But it's good news that they've given us a full-size controller as an optional way of gaming. That would definitely come in handy. Fact number six is the Joy-Con grip. So the center part there is called the Joy-Con and the two controllers on the side are Joy-Con controllers left and right. So what you do is when you slide them all together you get just give yourself a Joy-Con grip like a full controller with an adapter in the center. Um, so this gives you more control and more comfort when you're playing. Um, I'm hoping that this has also got a battery pack built into it. So the Joy-Con grip is possibly a decent alternative to the Pro Controller. Um, it looks quite comfortable to hold and is definitely a welcome feature. Fact number seven is the release date. It's coming March 2017. This console was actually looking for a 2016 release date, but as there's no, not any games ready to release, Nintendo have since moved this date to March 2017, so we can have a good number of games with the console on release date. Yeah. So fact number eight are the confirmed games coming to Nintendo Switch next year in March 2017. The first confirmed game is The Legend of Zelda The Breath of the Wild, Dragon Quest, Project Sonic 2017, Just Dance 2017. So these are confirmed and in the reveal trailer they showed us glimpses of a few games which have not been announced but it's given us a glimpse new Super Mario Brothers game, a new Mario Kart game Skyrim Remastered which looks absolutely amazing Splatoon and NBA 2K17 which also looks great so these are the games that are confirmed and rumoured so fact number 9 is the Nintendo Switch is being powered by a custom NVIDIA mobile Tegra processor with development kits using the X1 chip that's already in use for the Shield Android TV console and the Google Pixel C tablet. So in real world use, expect this console to perform better than a PS3 or a Xbox, but don't expect it to be comparable to the likes of PS4 or Xbox. The graphics definitely look noticeably better than a Wii U. Um, to be able to even play Skyrim, we know that it's got a beefed up Tegra processor in here which definitely looks promising. Fact number 10 is the development model. So Nvidia has used the Tegra in its Nvidia Shield tablet. The ARM technology means that developers will likely have to learn a new development model. One likely based on the Android but Nintendo hasn't told us yet what operating system the Switch is using. So I'm hoping 
that it's something that the developers are used to otherwise the same thing can happen that happened to the Wii U and developers will turn their backs on this console so I'm looking forward to finding out what Nintendo are going to use as the operating system for the Nintendo Switch okay guys so that was my 10 facts you should know about the Nintendo Switch um, hope you enjoyed the video and hope it's been useful to you guys um, like to see your comments and if you if you enjoyed the video please leave a thumbs up um, thank you for all your support thanks for watching